father and grieving husband pleading for answers tonight. This after his wife was gunned down during the sale of a gaming console. Our Brittany Jeffers spoke with the woman's husband. A story you'll see only here on CBS 11. Brittany. Mr. Vasquez tells me that right now he's just trying to hold it together for his children because in an instant they lost their mother and he lost his wife. And he says right now he is just pleading with the public for anyone who has any information to contact police. That's when we first met. After 23 years with Rosa by his side. My soulmate. Yeah, that's her when she was younger. Ricky Vasquez says he's that's still trying to figure out how to go about her. life without her. She was the best. I mean, she was super mom. She was super wife, everything. They laid his wife and mother to his five children to rest last Friday. I mean, it's hard. It seems like every day that goes by, it gets harder. Ricky says he's been living this nightmare since last week when he and Rosa and their son Michael agreed to meet at this apartment complex parking lot to buy a gaming console. They said we could, they would give it to us for 160 if we came tonight. But before the exchange happened, guns were pulled. And that's when I told my family to run, run. Ricky says four gunmen were aiming at him and his wife and child. You know, they were already shooting at the truck. So I tried to get this guy away and then I tried to shoot, they had to start shooting through the windshield, you know. Bullets hitting the side of the apartment and parked cars. And where was your son? He was in the back seat. My wife, she was just yelling, get down, Michael. Ricky says that he was trying to retrieve his own gun inside of his car when he realized Rosa had been hit. My son, you know, he was right there, you know, help. Somebody called 911. She didn't make it. He's been trying to hold it together for Michael. He's taking it the hardest. He had to see it and his other children. But he says the most difficult part of the loss is the senselessness and the lack of answers. If I don't fight for Rosa, you know who will? She was just a really special person. She was a really, really special person. The Fort Worth police are still investigating right now, but no arrests. And that is why Ricky says at this point, he is hoping that if you have any information to please contact the authorities immediately. Reporting live tonight in Fort Worth, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.